Take a look at this. Anti-Trump protesters fighting with his supporters at an event in Virginia this week. Maybe that's why the Donald is saying he needs Secret Service protection. And we showed you this video in the previous segment. People jumped on stage with Bernie Sanders and got in his face. Now, Wayne, should the American people pay for the Secret Service to protect people running for president? Yes, they should. Uh, you can't, just because a guy is saying I'm running for president and hasn't actually uh, gotten into the race in full, they, they should be protected, of course. Otherwise, you're going to have people, look, we've had people shot who were running for president. We've had pe presidents shot. If, if, if somebody can shoot somebody, it doesn't matter whether they're running for president or about to run for president. Yes, they should be protected. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of full screens when I throw it to you, John. Here's, here's the, re the, the reality, though. The first one, this, these are a couple of candidates over the last three cycles. Look, 256 days before the election, John Kerry had Secret Service protection. Barack Obama, 551 days before the election. And Mitt Romney down there, 278 days. Now, give me that next full screen. Here's why it kind of matters. $40,000 per candidate per day. John, we're talking tens of millions of dollars. Well, Eric, this is one exact reason why we need to get money in politics to pay for these types of things. And frankly, and I think when it comes to, to Trump, I think this really exemplifies what I consider to be cronyism. He, he's so rich, he's so rich, but no, 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 the taxpayer should pay for his security. I mean, if he's self-funding his campaign, why doesn't he pay for his security? I, well, I don't well, think but any John, candidate... But if he, he does, does should security. everyone have to pay for that? And frankly, there are some people think, with zero bank I think account. Well, I think the parties should pay, Eric. Exactly. That's why All there right. needs to be money in politics. They're just private citizens now. When they're elected officials, then the Secret Service you know, comes that's, in. That's not a bad option. Michelle, what about it? So the DNC and the RNC each take care of the, 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 uh, the cost of the Secret Service. I can get on board with that, but I think that taxpayers ought to pay if it's the front runner and there's a direct threat to the person's life. And the, the argument that Trump was making is that he said that maybe this is sort of partisan politics, that he has not been offered Secret Service protection. The Department of Homeland Security said, well, he hasn't put in a formal request yet, so that's why we haven't given it to him. With Obama, he put in a request and there was um, racist rhetoric. That's why we gave him Secret Service. But Donald Trump has had a direct threat to his life. I mean, we're talking about El Chapo. Like the the huge Mexican cartel is going after him. No, that's true. El Chapo said, "I'm going to take yeah. Trump out." Go ahead, uh, Jess. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I, I understand, and I think Donald Trump should have Secret Service protection. You know, Obama got it so early because of the racially motivated threats. But I think what we could do here, you know. At, going against what Jonathan said about putting more money into politics, why don't we federally finance campaigns, make them six weeks or three months, we wouldn't have to do this dance for two <laughs> years ahead, and the people, the big donors, the Koch brothers, Tom Steyer, they can put their money directly into the causes so, so, that matter so, and not into candidates. So, so you're going you're gonna to make the public, you're going to make me finance candidates that I don't believe in, that I don't no. support, and you're going to make all Americans finance B Bernie Sanders campaign or, or Lyndon LaRouche's campaign if he's still running. That's what uh, you know, public <laughs> financing no of campaigns is all about. These people's lives. They shouldn't get Secret Service unless there is a direct threat to their yeah, lives. I got news for you guys. There are probably direct threats to every single candidate's lives. Or Maybe sometimes, not right. Right. sometimes right. even exactly a, right. e sometimes even a talk show host gets. Yeah. 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 I was about to say. Sometimes I feel pretty lonely walking the streets. But I must say, presidential <laughs> lives matter, and I would err on the side of caution. I just don't think you want people being hurt. I think a lot of the videos we saw Bernie Sanders on the stage or tr protesters in the Trump crowd, that's minor stuff. We're talking about as Michelle was saying, serious threats against their life. Yeah, and, and I think what the, the, the important point here, I think we may all agree, is that, yes, use the Secret Service. It's the, it's the right. best defense against something stupid happening, but who ends up picking up the cost? For me, I like Jonathan's idea. Let the DNC and RNC pay for it. Just let the Secret Service handle it. Coming up, the gambling state not willing to roll the dice on fantasy sports sites. Nevada now banning them, but some here saying that's a bad bet for everyone. We debate, you decide.